I didn't go to university or college, you guys call it music college. I didn't really want to go, so that's why I didn't get in. <laughs> um, so I was like, okay, great, now I can do the other thing I was meaning to do anyway. I started learning guitar till I was 12-ish. I was listening to Strokes a lot and and The Cure as well. I loved The Cure. Um, I liked The Libertines. And it was kind of like when indie music was at its like peak. <laughs> if writing, like I always always start on guitar first, and that's kind of how I that's how I started writing songs. Before that, I used to just write the lyrics, and I just have all the parts in my head. So I guess I guess now it's like a bit of both. But most most of the time on guitar first. It's kind of like I'll come up with oh like if it's like a phrase in your head or like a few words or like a it's not like I wouldn't be able to it'd be hard to try and write the whole song basically without any music but after like you've written like a few songs you kinda of know how you, you want your songs to sound and you kind of if you see a phrase or you write a phrase and you can kind of imagine it in your own music. I'm not an actual performer. There's definitely aspects of it you enjoy, and I remember the first time I played, it had like such a big buzz after playing that lasted like a day. So it's definitely addictive, and I think it does give like music a different side of things and a new life. Like your songs are like different when you're playing them live; they're totally different to a record, and it's a different kind of experience for everyone. But it's definitely like not easy thing to do <laughs> for me anyway. I've definitely got more confident, but. Um, at the same time, I don't, like, your confidence grows, but then there's also, I guess, your doubt or, like, shyness, whatever it is, like, also grows. So it's kind of, everything's still the same, but just bigger. <laughs> I guess up till doing an album, you kind of know you want to do an album. So I was kind of building myself up towards that point, or, like, now I've, like, finished my album, it's coming out, it's kind of like, oh, okay. I didn't really, not like I didn't plan past this, but I don't really know what I'm meant to do next. I mean, I've done like another album like where I want music, but I didn't really like think past this point. So it's kind of funny. I'm excited just to release it and make more music and like kind of move on from it. And like, I'm excited about playing them live because I think that's when I really get into. If you write a song and then performing it, it kind of has two two different lives. Music is weird. Like whatever you're kind of thinking, you write into a song, and then if you sing the song. It's kind of like you're making things happen by, by putting, singing that song out there, by like putting that message out there. Like things come back to you in like weird ways. So I, I used to, I think I used to before doing an album, I really judged people by the albums. <laughs> and now I've like done one, I'm like, oh my god, I was being so mean like before. So don't judge me <laughs> by my album. <laughs>